tonight we're going to see three of the rookies that we're most excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, Felix Unger Sorum, Jackson Blake, Bradley Nadeau. And we're going to see if they play well together. There's a possibility eight years from now this is an NHL line. And they're playing tonight. That's what I'm saying. They're, yeah. We're, we're going to not talk about, oh, it would be awesome if, or, oh, is this what the team is is hoping for? Is this what they're uh, predicting? Could one of these guys make the NHL roster? We're no longer having those theoretical, hypothetical conversations. We're going to talk about what they put on the ice, which is just so much more fun. And, like, we, we had a, a conversation a couple days ago about Felix Unger Storm. If you don't know who he is, uh, he is 19 years old. Yep. Uh, former second round pick out of Sweden. Yes, I believe. Uh, I feel like Norway. It, one of yeah, all right. yeah, Norway. Might be that. Uh, sorry, can I have the country of origin, please, and the pronunciation? Are there any alternate pronunciation? Felix Unger Sorum uh, impressed last year in in training camp. Uh, then went back overseas for the season. He's back here. He will stay here in North America for the, the season. So he will either find his way onto an NHL roster or play in, in Chicago in the AHL, uh, in the, the affiliate for the Canes. Um, but we talked a few out of the day, maybe a week ago, about him transitioning to possibly center. And uh, he's been a winger up to this point in the development stage. And – my hypothesis at the time, our hypothesis at the time was this is probably an indication that he will not be the rookie that starts in the NHL game one because if you're transitioning positions, you probably need more minutes than whoever the rookie will get if there's a rookie on the day one roster in the NHL. Uh, they probably won't get enough minutes to to work in a new position, as they shouldn't. You shouldn't be experimenting at the NHL. This is the big leagues. But you send him down to the AHL, give him 23 minutes a night at center, you might have something. That's all just talk until tonight. What if he goes out there and he looks great as a center? What if he goes out there and he's just setting guys up, looking for his own shot, and, he, and it's just, hey, you know what? This really, really good 19-year-old is a natural at playing center. He did it in the prospect tournament a week ago before camp started, and he's been doing it all during training camp. We're going to get to see the product on the ice tonight, or at least hear about it from Mike Meniscalco and Trip Tracy tonight at 6.30, right here on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, what was it, last week on Thursday, we have Felix Unger Sorum talking to the media. This was directly to you, correct? That is directly correct. to Dennis Cox on adjusting to playing center. Not so much different than I thought it would be. Just different on just the draws, of course, and just a little bit of small things on the ice, but not a huge difference, so that's nice. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Uh, just fun playing. If it's center or forward, doesn't matter, but I think it's fun both ways. I mean, it's not that easy from everything I've been told by people that play hockey, but I guess if, if you're 19 and that good, it might be that simple. Like, yeah, well, I'm good enough, I guess. I, might, I take I take face-offs now. Cool. Uh, <laughs> All right. I mean, that's that's kind of outlandish. Let's hear from uh, the coach, though, Rod Brindamore, on how Unger Storm has adapted to the new position. I don't think it will, despite the way he's already taken to this position. You don't want to make him take a step back, you know, because, like, what is this? You're throwing something new. I mean, but he's really taken the challenge on, um, you know, an elite player that we think he that he can be, you know, let's see if he can adapt and, and play that position. We know he can play wing, so that that's a, a lot easier position to go back to than trying to play wing at this level and then, you know, in a couple of years say, hey, why don't we try a center? So I think we definitely see a skilled player there that – Sees the ice well and uh, maybe has a good makeup to be a good center. Um, you know he's going to be a good player, so uh, you know we'll just see how that develops. That was Rod Brindamore earlier today talking about the the position move for for Unger Sorum. But what it does is it allows in the preseason, at least in preseason game one, we're expecting this line to have Felix Unger Sorum, Bradley Nadeau, and Jackson Blake all on the same line. That's right. That's exciting to me. Ah, we need a we need a name for this line. Um, we need a nickname for him. Yeah, Bussin. Bussin. I think it was Bussin B yeah. because Unger Sorum in the middle there use all the initials Bussin. They got to be the Bussin line. All right. Bussin's a good line. B U S N. Bussin. Uh, but that's ex that's exciting, and it's also it it also gives it like a finish line, right? And what what I mean by that is, um, they're not all like gonna gonna get the call up to the NHL at the same time. Right? To me, that's almost a a uh, signifier that 
a new generation of Canes prospects is making their mark. When we look at a, a lineup and we see the full bus and line in the NHL, that'll signify, oh, oh, look at this. The young guys are here to party. You know what I mean? Like the young guys are here to make their make their mark. Um, it's awesome to see the guys that we've seen for the last five, ten, ten years with with the Canes. But there's also something that's always exciting about the fresh blood. I think, and I've said this, and I'll say it again, just to keep putting it on record. I think one of them should be on the opening day roster. Who? Well, let me watch some preseason games before I make that decision. Uh, by the way, the first one is tonight.